Welcome to Rainy Day Ford, where we don't mess around with badass home decor. Today in the shop, we'll be making a wine bottle holder that looks like an octopus that's emerging from the water. To make this project, I'll be using a few new tools that are in my shop. A 25 pound little giant power hammer, an RBM 1600 MIG welder, and an RBC 4000 plasma cutter. These are two things that I found on Amazon. Please remind me to turn the heat back on because chink chink, I'm gonna forget. Whether you're looking for a unique piece to add to your home decor or to give something to a wine lover, this octopus bottle holder is exactly what you need. So let's get this project started. Cheers! Let's light the forge and beat some steel. So here's what I'm thinking. Face of the octopus, waves, tentacles. I, I just added every detail I thought of. We'll see what we end up with in the end. So I'm gonna get myself a clothes hanger, kinda figure out what shape I want the bar to end up being. So I keep referring to the coat hanger that's just off screen here, and I'll bend the tentacle, refer to it, bend the tentacle a bit more. So it's serving me as a guide to dictate the shape of the tentacle. So first piece is shaped. Um, other than the, uh, the suckers. And here I'm just cooling off the tip of the tentacle because I don't want to deform it and I need to hammer on it. So cool it off, it gets hard, the rest of the steel stays soft, and I can work it. Now I know very little about this thing other than it's a good price. using my Reboot MIG TIG ARC. I've only used the MIG and I'm very pleased with it. Tacked it on there. It's a little bit tight. When I weld the suckers on there, that, uh, that'll create some interference as well. So moving it over, maybe even a quarter inch might be the way to go piece that I'm putting into the forge is cut out with the plasma cutter. I'm using a dishing anvil to kind of create that initial shape and then onto the anvil to kind of squish it a little bit more and then getting resourceful grabbing the ball off my truck and using what I've got on hand to just keep shaping the back of the head.
This thing's turning out pretty awesome. I've got the one eye to adjust, that other one's pretty much set there. I don't know. I'm super stoked. Let's analyze it with my thoughts. thoughts. Having one jet out of the water over here would be really cool. 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 So I want to see what I can do with this welder to kind of decorate, create, create, create. <laughs> So they are called suction cups and there are 2,240 of them on the Great Pacific Octopus. They're used to taste, grip, and smell. Wonder how they distinguish between taste and smell. If they can smell from their suction cup, can they sneeze from their suction cup? Maybe. Maybe. And we've got Third tentacle attached. And then get my bolt. Probably was in a little bolt today. And here I'm adding some oil, linseed oil, heating it up to create a nice dark protective layer. Finish it off, adding my maker's mark. Looks like we're done. And if you've enjoyed this project, if I've inspired you to make your own wine bottle holder, I'd love to see it. Share it with me at Rainy Day Forge on Instagram. Please consider following me, writing me a comment, and I'd love it if you'd go watch another one of my videos. That'd be great. Should be something popping up over here somewhere. Um, probably knife related, that's usually the things that I make. This project I thought was really cool. I loved having the, creating the flow and the composition of the octopus piece. So that's it, we're done. Bye bye.